っぱだ。あバーン。ハロハロハロ
if it's published, because that's what I I would assume as well, right? Is that like if it's published, it means that it's ready to go and that it releases at a later date, right? But how is it published at a later date and then released early? <laughs> And with breaks to eat, it could be a stream length of two streams. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think that it might be, it might be a two stream thing. Releases when it's available to the general public, and publishes when it's on public domain, like on the shelf and stuff. Oh, well, I mean, I. That's tough. I mean, either way, like, this is th these are the dates I have, and so I'm going on, like, whatever date is on the thing. Which, the, the special editions don't have dates on them, unfortunately. But I think that on my actual... Hold on. No, it just has the name of the comic. It doesn't actually have the date on it. But I think this is correct, because I think that they each have, like, dates on them. And I have them filtered by uh, date, and this is the date that I have. Am I going to do the murder game? Yes, but not today. I'm going to do that tomorrow. The biggest April Fool's that they made an actual game? I mean, I don't think that that's as much of a prank, considering that they released it a day early. I think that, that them releasing it a day early is, their, is them saying, like, hey, this is a joke, but also kind of not a joke, because it's an actual game. <laughs> so, the Mecha Madness Special... Written by Michael Gallagher, penciled by Spaz. Wait. Oh, no, that is a Z. For a second, I thought that was an X. I was like, Spaxiante. <laughs> uh, so we got the Chaotix here. We got the 40 Fathom Freedom Fighters again. Also written by Gallagher. Weird that they have a special not penned by Penders in any way. Who penned then this one? Dave Manak. Okay. Interesting. Recap trading cards. Oh. Describing events in Sonic number 39. I see what you mean now. Why are they... Why is this like this? I don't understand. <laughs> this is so confusing. Sonic requests to allow himself to be roboticized by the, as rejected by the Knothole Council. Why? Sally literally did the same thing. Sonic is ambushed and escaped by escaped convict Nacto Weasel and taken to Robotropolis. Mechasonic battles Bunny Rabot on his way to destroy Knothole Village. Robotnik finally creates the real Mechasonic. Knuckles arrives, loses his fight with Mechasonic. Okay. It looks like we are missing an awful lot. That's a, that's the problem with this shit, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to find out who killed Sonic. Finally, <laughs> we're gonna find out. The creator of the game worked on it for a year. That's pretty cool. I, I, that's honestly kind of shocking that like it only took a year. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I am tempted to just read the these issues first, just because like. Why is it released like this? Like, why why is this the date that they have? And, like, do do I read the Knuckles shit first? Two? Like... Because what's, what's Knuckles number one dated? This is dated July. Which is correct on my list. And then number 39 is dated, what was that, no November? October. And it says October right there, meaning that my information is correct. It's just that these release dates are whack as fuck. <laughs> Why the fuck would they release this in July then? I don't understand. What if the special just doesn't have a release date? I mean, that's possible, I guess, but like, in my information, it was dated July. That's what, that's what bothers me, in particular. I guess we're doing Knuckles number one first. Knuckles number one. This is not how I wanted to do this. 
But this is also Archie's fault. For not making their shit make sense. Hedgehog number 37. All right. Knuckles number one, then. Number one of the three-issue miniseries by Pendris Beziante Mawini and these guys. Sonic the Hedgehog, with great reluctance, presents his friendly nemesis, Knuckles, in an all-new miniseries featuring the mystery of Archimedes. Archimedes. And look at them. An extra special guest appearance by the Chaotix. Finally, we're going to see them again, I guess. Of the countless natural wonders on the planet Mobius, none can compare to the awe and majesty of the fabled floating island. Its secrets, including those of the legendary Chaos Emerald, are preserved and protected by Knuckles the Echidna. He is the most current sentinel in a long line of guardians. Though forever apart from the affairs of those who dwell below, the island has its own unique tales of triumph and tragedy. Raised to lofty heights by the power of science, technology would, would eventually prove a double-edged sword and a culture's ultimate downfall. Once home to the most advanced society in living memory, the land has since reverted back to wilderness, but buried deep beneath the shadow of Mount Fate lie signposts to a checkered past, a checkered past, and the artifacts of days perhaps best forgotten. Still, history has a knack for refreshing the memories of those who fail to heed its lessons, and that is where our story begins. Deep within the bowels of the fabled floating island above planet Mobius, a vast underground complex is about to be invaded. Hmm. The ancients got their secrets well. Possible the ancients re possible Sonic Frontiers reference? Already? Shame was lousy with motion sensors. Everything from tripwires to pressure plates to complex infrared arrays. Trap doors and deadfalls far as the electric eye can see. Booba traps both ridiculous and exotic. No way I can cross the room without setting at least one of them off. So... Knuckles, Rites of Passage. Jesus. <laughs> the Elbow with the Five, thank you so much. Am I ready for the Mario movie? I sure am. We're going to go see it in two days' time. It's going to be very exciting and fun. I'll just have to improvise. Man, he just avoided all that. Good for you, Knuckles. Wait, who did the penciling for this? Art Mawini. Okay. Honestly, kind of dig this. It's pretty good. Whoa! My answers didn't leave much to chance. They've thrown everything in but the kitchen sink. Ugh. But the one thing I won't throw in is the towel. <laughs> After all, <laughs> if you can't stand the heat, boop, 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 <laughs> fight fire with fire power. That's gotta hurt. Good riddance to bad rubbish. What's a nice echidna like me doing in a hidden temple anyway? How'd I get myself into this mess? Same way I always do, by leaping without looking. And when I wasn't looking, Archimedes kidnapped the chaotic, the Chaotix. He'd been plaguing me for weeks with taunts and riddles, but that was the last straw. I searched for answers, only to find Mount Fate. Dad often spoke of the myths and legends which center around it, dating back to when our homeland first touched the sky. Generations later, Brothers Edmund and Dimitri sought to return this island to Mobius. But Dimitri's approaching would, arrogance would prove Echidna society's downfall. He absorbed the energies of eleven of the twelve Chaos Emeralds which held Echidnopolis aloft, only to be buried under the ruins of his own dark tower. As penance, my people renounced all ties to technology. Though they preserved artifacts of their scientific heritage in a grand conservatory beneath the shadow of Mount Fate. Odds are, this underground city is where Archimedes took the Chaotix, and he's using it for his base of operations. He's only always one step ahead, but I'm the one behind the eight ball. Yep, 
<laughs> we'll watch Mari with your friend and his wife on Sunday. Really hyped for it. Which oh, thank you. <laughs> My knuckles voice is jawsome. Thank you. <laughs> Do you even know what a towel is, Knuckles? Honestly, he probably doesn't. I don't think I've ever seen any of them use a towel before. Did he just... Did it just blow up Mount Fate? Okay. <laughs> On, okay, to be fair, though, I am kind of glad that at the very least these panels don't have any exposition because considering that Penders and... God, what was, what was his name? The guy who Penders always writes with. The fact that they wrote it honestly surprises me that there's no dialogue here because they cannot make these characters stop talking for a little bit. Phew! That rolling rock almost gathered some echidna-colored moss. It's like the doors weren't built for Amber Robotnik. Hmm. Speaking of doors, there sure are a lot of them. Wonder what's behind. This one! Shush. Some sort of portable concussive blaster, like the ones upstairs, only smaller. Bet that's what my ancestors used to dig out this complex. He wields gun. TCG with the two, thank you so much. I don't have energy for Pender City, just saying hi, thank you. <laughs> David with the two, hello all you people. I remember you in therapy. Well, thank you. I I'm, I hope that we helped? <laughs> Question mark. Better take it with me in case I run into any more obstacles. <laughs> Did you just... Was he imprisoned for years? Did you just release Edmund? Oh, shit. Good worksmanship. Could never knock it down with my fists. Fortunately, I came prepared. Well, you didn't come prepared. You found a gun and then grabbed it and then came here. <laughs> Which is more important? Which is more important? Your friends or the threat to the floating island? Had you fought together instead of separately, you wouldn't be here. Still, intelligence aside, your performance has been adequate. Turning the conservatory's defenses against themselves was elegant in its simplicity, although a trifle mel melodramatic. Still, you correctly reason that the key to your present lies in your past. That the path best guarded holds the most, holds both the most peril and the brightest promise. What? It's the meme? What meme? Which one? This one with Knuckles? <laughs> the gun- I, I've, I've never seen the gun meme before. And the brightest promise! Try me, Espio, Mighty, Vector, you alright? Why shouldn't we be? Get it, cause I'm a bee? <laughs> Our host has been very gracious. Yeah, and he fed us too. Pull up a chair! There's spare ribs to spare! I don't want lunch, Vector. I want answers. So, you're the big mumba jumba. Archimedes! <laughs> Look, he's trying to think! I don't even know what voice to give him now. I. I'm so, I'm so, like, ag aghast. I'm so aghast. I'm so confused, even. He's just a fire ant? Okay. I mean, I guess that kind of m makes a little sense, given that, like, weren't the fire ants the ones that, like, freed the echidna from whatever Enerjack was gonna do, or Edmund, whatever the hell? Okay. Look, he's trying to think. He's very funny, man. I've been, I've been thinking, wise guy, and my train of thought led me here, to the Grand Conservatory. 
Obviously, you've got the hold of my ancestors' abandoned technology, hardwired these robots, and made them do your dirty work! Ah. <laughs> what I don't understand is how you disappeared last time in the Chaos Chamber, and carved your initials into a solid hunk of solid granite. You're small, but hardy. Hardly... invisible? <laughs> He's gone. Blue smoke and mirrors, the magician's art. A little misdirection goes a long way. And is for the rest. Oh, he literally breathes fire. Hence fire ant. But he's still small, right? Because, like, this perspective is kind of funky. They make him look almost average size. Because I feel like if he was small, the perspective from the camera to the other characters would be way different. But, I don't know. <laughs> what is happening anymore? I don't know, dude. I'm too tired to, to know what the hell is happening right now. Whoa! <laughs> Think you're pretty hot stuff, huh? As a meteor effect, I do. My people have pulled a kid in a fit out of the fire more times than I can count. As far back as the origin of this island. The fire ant is co Oh, the fire ant is correct. His kind once thwarted my will. But that was long, long ago. I have grown, learned, evolved during my imprisonment beneath Mount Fate. How would you have learned anything? Like, could, I mean, I... Guess you were still conscious, but like, how? How? How did you know? Could you like feel their energy? I don't understand. I have not played Murder of Sonic. No, not yet. The Echidna Scientist Dimitri is no more. Oh, I keep confusing Dimitri and Edmund. Today, Enerjack reigns supreme. But why do you look like that, though? That's not what you looked like when you were imprisoned beneath the thing. You just looked like a dude. Well, maybe he has the X-Men outfit because of the Chaos Emeralds, but... I don't... Does that even make sense? I don't know that it does. You know what I mean? Strange. Hello, Lucas. I will learn why Enerjack looks like that. Okay, good. I'm glad that it, at least they explain it and it's not just like, yes, I disappeared and I look like this now. Enerjack. Oh. Enerjack, the great le evil of legend. The blade of evil's bane. Hyrule. Ganondorf. Everyone, get back. You don't know what you're dealing with. A frog, that's what. Demetri was destroyed, crushed by the rubble of his dark tower. No one, nothing could have survived. How quickly they forget. Eleven shattered chaos emeralds empower me. I am immortal, eternal, and indestructible. You know, if he has all this power, why didn't he just escape from Mount Fate, like, generations ago? Like, why? I mean, I'm ga I'll, they're probably gonna explain it, it just seems silly. Oh, well, let's just see how indestructible you are. Good. I was hoping you'd try something foolish. Spring, 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 spring. There. Now that your expected show of resistance has been extinguished, Events may proceed in an orderly fashion. Though Echidnopolis has long since fallen, my dreams of conquest yet endure. These chaotics could prove useful to me in the world that is coming. But you, the descendants of those who arranged my defeat, deserve a better fate. <laughs> Actually, wait, I think I remember the ant. I think I remember this dude, actually. Because I think he's, like, best friends with another one of the Echidnas later on. <sighs> what? 
I'll, I'll remember it when I see it. From where? No, no, no. From these comics. Like, I think I've seen him before with, like, another... With, like, a bearded echidna, I think. Enerjack is one of the strongest characters in the Sonic franchise, rivaling Solaris. Well, damn. <laughs> what a wild ride. Lucky we're still in one piece. Depends on how you define luck, Echidna. Where are we? I'm not sure, but from the look of things, it's gonna be a long walk home. Also, how come you sounded, like, really intimidating at first, and now you just sound like a Russian dude? I know how to do a voice acting. It's, it's one of favorite hobbies. It's pastime. I capture chaotic. They say, hey, would not be funny if you no use real voice, if you use very intimidating voice. So that is what I use. It work, apparently. Everyone have good time. Oh, that was it. That was the last page. <laughs> okay. 37, then Knuckles 2. What possessed me to make this ant Russian? I don't know. <laughs> I, th I think I saw someone in chat say comrade, and I was like, oh, sure. <laughs> He's just Russian now. Russian to get Knuckles safe and sound back home. I will do a playthrough of the next Sonic game. Yes. Bunny Rabot solo story inside. Awesome. Can't wait. Bro, who drew this? My god. Uncle Chuck. Sonic the Hedgehog. This is the exact spot in Robotropolis where Uncle Chuck asked to meet us. Hey, where is he, Nicole? Alright, this is a De Cesare story, but honestly, he's let me down sometimes, so I don't know what to think of him anymore. Art by Brian Thomas. Okay, have we seen Brian Thomas art before? I think maybe we have, but I don't know. Unknown, Sally. Chill, Sal. He'll show. Chill, Sal. He'll show up. Sonic! Boing. Oh, sorry, nephew. Didn't know you were standing so close to the door. Ugh! Can't believe I fell for that! Whoosh. What is this place, Uncle Chuck? It's my secret spy room, Sally. From here I can monitor Robotnik's evil doings. Undetected! Now please, come inside! Your spy sh Why do you have a spy shack? When did you make this? Why don't you just use the stuff back at Knothole? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Could really fuck up your back. True. Your spy shack's really cool, Unc. Can I use it the next time I play hide and seek? This is no time for jokes, nephew. Take a look at this screen. That's your heart rate, Unc. You should see a mechanic. Wish you were, Sonic. Bloop, bloop, bloop. But it's an indication of massive movements directly below the surface of this city. You don't mean... Why did they draw Sally like that? Yes, Sally. Robotropolis is about to be rocked by a terrible earthquake. Terrible? Reminds me to ki remind me to kiss Mother Nature. Does Robotnik know about the quake? Of course. He plans to hover above the city in a spacecraft until the quake is over. Then he's going to land and start rebuilding. How can we take advantage of all this? Well, while Robotnik's gone, Robotropolis will be defenseless, but only for a short time. Great! When you're as fast as I am, a short time is plenty of time. That's when we'll make our move. Meanwhile... Oh, too tired to do Robotnik's voice today. <laughs> yeah, Sal's face was literally that emoji. You can see that this is Penders' work, but what's unfolding while you didn't watch last week's readings? I mean, this specifically is not Penders' work. He made this in Sat AM. He did?! Wow. The Zwartbots are all on board the ship, Slavely. Quickly, but prepare for takeoff. But Dr. Robotnik, what's to become of the bots we're leaving behind? Who cares, you idiot? They're just machines. Rrrr. 
What exactly is your plan, Uncle Chuck? Isn't isn't that just like Robotnik to leave without saying goodbye? Robotnik left behind some bots, Sally. Bots that were once normal living Mobians, like you. I can't abandon them. <sighs> I'm going to de-roboticize them before the quake hits. Otherwise, they may not survive. But it's too dangerous. You may not survive. That's a chance I'm willing to take, Sally. Sorry, Sal. I can't let Uncle Chuck go it alone. I'll see you back in Knothole. The heck you will. I'm coming too. But I still think this is insane. Inside Robotnik's headquarters. Before Robotnik left, you deactivated everything. Planes, computers, machines. If I can open these locked doors, I can activate the de-roboticizer. Maybe he left a key under the doormat. <laughs> it's beginning. Sonic the Hedgehog, thank goodness that tremor opened a hole in the wall large enough for us to squeeze through. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did I get the feeling that was just a warm-up? We've got to move quickly. I'll start the de-roboticizer. Wait, so did uh, did Chuck and Sonic already pass through this crack in the wall? Because it, it seems like Sally's not even going to fit. And if Chuck is still a robot... I feel like he wouldn't have enough squishy parts to make it through this hole. Like, if the hole was bigger, sure, right? Because I, I I believe that, like, the animals can squeeze through, but not a robot. I feel like robot parts just wouldn't fit. <laughs> or at least they would, like, scrape on the wall. Wait! Someone's coming! It's okay, Sally. I triggered an all-points intruder alarm. Every bot left on Mobius will soon be converging on this room. Uncle Chuck, there's not enough time to transform all the bots one by one. I know, Sally. Hold on. Here comes another tremor. I'm going to overload the de-roboticizer circuits. When it explodes, I'm counting on it to create a blanket effect. Explodes? Here they come. Get undercover, quickly. Three. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh, don't even tell me that he saved everyone. Okay, because if he saved everyone, if this worked, and he just, like, en, ma en masse de-roboticized a bunch of people, by that logic, I feel like he should have been de-roboticized too. <laughs> you know what I mean? You love the Minus World video two days ago? <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. The weeks you were scrambling to make your last eShop transaction, the fallout you had afterwards, enduring a cold and raspy throat. Dear God, that sounds terrible. <coughs> Sonic! <coughs> Where are you? <coughs> right here, Sal. Protecting you. Uncle Chuck! Are you okay? I'm fine, Sonic. Uncle Chuck! You didn't de-roboticize yourself! I'm much more valuable to our causes about, Sonic. My ties will come some- my turn will come someday. Besides... My th this is bullshit. This is stupid. How how were how was everyone in the line of fire, but you were not? You know what I mean? No, no, I don't believe that. <laughs> My theory worked. Ugh. <gasps> what happened? Why do all pigs sound alike? I love that. That's just like a Mickey Mouse up there at the bottom. <gasps> oh, where am I? <laughs> The tremors are getting stronger and more frequent. We've got to get out of this building, now! Soon. We made it! But getting out of the city is going to be impossible. Oh, no, it's not. Look, an airplane. Spirit Airlines. Why does Rotor look so tiny there? Rotor, you came just in time! I never expected to find so many of you. There's not enough room in the plane. I'll stay behind. My metallic body may protect me. Forget that, Unc. I'll juice right over the quake. And if a chasm opens up in front of you, you'll juice right to the bottom. I mean, no. I feel like Sonic could, like, see it coming or, like, protect himself from it. I feel like he'd be perfect. I feel like Sonic would be fine, but okay. The blast radius was exactly 360 degrees minus the surface area of Chuck's body. It was just like a cone, and like every robot that was approaching just like isn't that... Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a justification, you know what I mean? 
Will I be playing the murder? Yes, tomorrow. I'll be playing that tomorrow. I'm sorry, Uncle Chuck, but as princess, I order you to return with the others. Whatever happens, Sonic and I will face it together. Sonic the Hedgehog! At least the others got away. Maybe Nicole can figure out an escape route for us. Tell her to make it fast. This town is about to rock big time. Come on, Nicole. Don't stop, Sal. Keep moving. Sally! Oh, no. She's hurt. Sal! Sal! I wasn't... I wasn't fast enough to save my girlfriend. Uh, I've got to get her back to Nile, or she won't make it. What? According to... According to available data, this is the safest route out of Robotropolis. Chance of survival is 12%. If you start in 10 seconds and don't stop, good luck, Sonic. Good luck? Don't you mean goodbye? <laughs> Hang on, Sal! <laughs> We're almost out of the city. Whoa! That chasm filling up with hot lava. I can try to jump across. Considering how fast you're going, if you jump, you should be fine. But Nicole said not to stop. What'll I do? Wait, did I read everything? Yeah. Well, if you jump, you will not stop. <laughs> and get smashed by the traveling... Get smashed by that falling tower. Time to change direction. <laughs> But Nicole said not to stop. What'll I do? Wait, there's a hole in the tower. Here I go. In one side. And out the other. Yes! The next day in Knothole. And for your courage and selflessness, I award you Uncle Chuck. Is his first name Uncle? Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. Frost with a five, thank you so much. Fun fact, those characters... Uncle Chuck restored our background character designs from Saturday Morning Cartoon. It's their one and only cameo appearance. Okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. This time he actually wasn't fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle is a title. Yeah. <laughs> And for your courage and selflessness, I award you, Uncle Charles Chuck the Hedgehog, the Mobius Golden Acorn, named after my father, King Golden Acorn. <laughs> oh, thank you, Princess, but I'm afraid you won't be able to pin it on me. No sweat, Unc. It's really a refrigerator magnet. Honestly, that's pretty smart. That's a pretty smart way of conferring badges to robots. And I, I'm giving my medal to Nicole. We wouldn't have made it without her. Thanks, Sonic. But I am a machine. <laughs> I do not understand titles and rewards. Three cheers for Uncle Chuck! Hooray! Hooray! Hmm. I wonder what kind of welcome Robotnik's getting. At that moment above Robotropolis. My beautiful city and ruins. I'd be heartbroken if I had a heart. Take us down, Snively. I want to start rebuilding immediately. Yes, sir. But what's to prevent the Freedom Fighters from attacking the city while it's so vulnerable? I've anticipated this, Snively. Look here. I've had this launched. I've just launched the satellite from atop the ship. It will release an impenetrable force field around the city while we work. Brilliant, sir. Brilliant. Why didn't... Why don't you just have that on all the time? Why don't you just keep that there forever? Why... Why until you, like, fix the city? I mean, I feel like that would just be very useful regardless. You know what I mean? I'm gonna just ignore how magnets could cause Chuck Servos to fuck up? I mean, he probably is made with some titanium alloy or something that prevents magnets from affecting him. Or something. I don't know. Brilliant, sir. Brilliant. Activate the force field, Snively. Yes, sir. I was about to say, when we get inside! You idiot. Yay! A bunny comic. Fantastic. That's too much power. I managed to pay the government. Does he? I thought he was just... 
like the master of all he foresees or something. Bunny Rabot in Bunny's Worst Nightmare. Yo, bitches! Come on, y'all. Time to head back. Rich Ko Kozlo Kozlowski. Okay. I don't think we've seen a story and art by this person before. Dang old itch. What's the mutter? What, what's the mutter? <laughs> I was going to say, what's the mutter, Banny? What's the matter, Bunny? Must have laid in some poison ivy or something. Because I'm feeling some... Uh. <laughs> that is That is an expression and a half. Jesus. Later that night. Help! Help, y'all! What is it, Bunny? What's wrong? Oh, no! We are under the attack! Huh? No, Antoine. Something, something's going haywire with my body. My robot arm is growing or something. What'll I do? Way past uncool. A bizarre cybernetic phenomenon. This is terrible. Yo, bitches! <laughs> I, I just love that they haven't given Tails anything to say, but, like, onomatopoeias. But how is this possible? I suspect our old friend, Dr. Robonic, is behind this somehow. But how did he do it? Well, but how he did it will take further analysis. Anything yet, Rhoda? Fascinating. The circuitry and relay seem to be functioning as an automated self-replicating system. Skip. Skip the pig Latin, big guy, and spill the beans. What does that mean? Dude, bitches! <laughs> Tails, please! In other words, the roboticized parts of Bunny seem to be growing on their own. I'm sorry, Bunny, I just don't know what to say. I can't figure out how to stop it. No way. There must be something we can do. There must be. Just look at me. My worst nightmares are coming to life. In a matter of minutes, I'll be completely roboticized. What if this is all just a nightmare? What if this is just a dream? Hmm. Is Robotnik a complete robot too then? They have neither confirmed nor denied, I guess. <laughs> we got Metal Virus early, bro. That's sick. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, wow, this is just the Metal Virus saga. Oh no! What's hap- Now what's happening? Huh? It's, it's the first Pokemon movie. To the freedom fighter known as Bunny Rabot, if you are receiving this message, you are no doubt in the final stage of total roboticization. You probably thought you had escaped. What you did not know is that the first phase of your roboticization, a microscopic device, was implanted in case of your escape. This device ensures that, in time, total roboticization will occur. How, how did you... How did you anticipate this? Because you thought... There's no way you didn't think or that you didn't... There's no way you didn't think that this would just affect her entirely, right? Like, you, when you captured her, you would have thought that it would have had the whole effect, right? How, and also, like, why is this just now taking effect? Why didn't it take effect, like, months ago? <laughs> How did you design something to, to show up specifically for Bunny to be like, Hey, if you're receiving this message, that means that you're finally becoming fully a robot now. Because I knew that when I captured you, there was a chance you might only become half robot. Like, what? <laughs> this device ensures that in time, total roboticization will occur. <gasps> Maybe we can remove this device, we? It is a self-replicating slash repairing device that cannot be reversed and cannot be removed. Even if you are successfully de-roboticized, you will automatically be transformed back into my robot's robotic slave. What? But then that means that everyone we've de-roboticized has a little bit... How? Why would that make sense? Okay. End of transformation. <laughs> Don't worry, Bunny. We'll figure something out. We always do. It's hopeless. You heard him. Sonic's right, Bunny. You can't give up hope and we won't give up on you. 
Maybe becoming a robot wouldn't be such a bad thing after all. <gasps> oh! What? Oh, my stars. Did I just say that? I, I couldn't help myself. The robotic side of you is starting to fight for control. Let's get back to work. There must be something I can do. I'll help. Fight it just a little longer, Bunny. There's still time. <laughs> There's no time, Sally girl. Tomorrow's a new day. The Lumen with the five, thank you so much. What chaos have you missed so far? Been too absorbed by the wild lately. Very addicting game. Um, well, Bunny's becoming a full robot. Uh, Enerjack got released from Mount Fate. Ma Ma Mount Fate. Um, and we're holding off one of the comics until we read ahead enough. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. Dear friends, I couldn't risk endangering any of you. I have to get away before the others wake up. I just know they'd try and stop me. Whew. Must keep running, but for some reason I feel real tired. I gotta rest for a minute. Just for a minute. Mm. What? Oh no! It's morning. I must have slept for too long. Gotta run further. Uh, Bunny, are you okay? Sally girl! N no, stay back and... Hey, my hand. It's okay. I'm still me. I haven't been completely roboticized. I'm no longer a threat to my friends. Threat? What are you talking about? Have you been having nightmares again? I guess so. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten that extra piece of Mobe Mobius Berry Pie. Ugh. <laughs> Just a mild case of indigestion. You have nothing to worry about. You're right. I hope. Okay, yeah. It really was just a nightmare, huh? Cool. Okay. Fine. I mean, I have nightmares that I turn into a robot all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, that 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 definitely does say something about like and and it's a it's a legit fear to have. Like if if you were half, you know, robot and the possibility, which I mean, granted, it's not it was still just a dream, but if if even a modicum of the idea that you could turn into a full robot was in your mind, it stands to reason that that would be like a giant fear for you. <laughs> that would be a primal fear, I feel like. Well, not primal fear, but you know what I mean. Like, that would be your deepest fear. Sonic the Hedgehog, with great reluctance, presents, represents, his friendly nemesis, Knuckles, and the echidna's reluctant traveling companion, Archimedes. As they confront a menace from the floating island's past, the renegade scientist called Enerjack. Knuckles' ancestral heritage was one of duty and honor, or so he'd been led to believe. But today, a threat to the floating island and all existence has unveiled the dark side of Echidna civilization. What did Knuckles do to free him again? He just showed up. He just... He was there. <laughs> Wait, Archimedes is the ant? Yep. <laughs> Maybe being a sick, cool Gundam robot isn't so bad. I mean, but if you, like, lose your mind and if you lose your, like, free will, I feel like that's that's a reasonable fear. <laughs> you know what I mean? His role as guardian of the Chaos Emerald, long thought the noblest of callings, is in truth atonement for the treachery of an ancestor who dared place himself above the greater good. That ancestor, the renegade echidna scientist called Demetrius, survived a thousand years of imprisonment be beneath Mount Fate and returned to work his evil will as Enerjack, harbinger of chaos. His straits are dire, but Knuckles is not alone. At his side stands Archimedes the Fire Ant, ambassador of a race which shares a secret symbiotic relationship with the Echidnas, a relationship dating back to the origins of the island, even though, in theory, their peoples are natural enemies, you know, on account of Echidnas being ant eaters or whatever. Uh, now confronted by a greater evil, Knuckles and this unlikely ally must apply the lead... <laughs> 
puppets and lesions, the lessons of the past to the present, or there will be no future for any of them. So, this is the sen- oh. So, this is the Sandopolis, huh? Just the way I've always pictured it, only with more sinned. Interjack sure meant business when he exiled us here. It'll take days to get p p to cross the outback. Assuming we survive. Got any ideas on how to do that, Echidna? Keep our wits about us. Look for food. <laughs> the idea that your id takes over your conscience is pretty scary. Yeah, agreed. Knuckles' vibes called it Enerjack. Yeah. <laughs> And pray. <laughs> that it doesn't find us first. <laughs> I can just hear the Sandopolis theme in my head. Beep, 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 dee, dee, dee. A sand crawler. The biggest I've ever seen. The heat seekers track their prey by its body heat. <laughs> uh oh. Pop always said I was a hothead, but. Yo, Cecil, why not pick on a hotter tamale, eh? Archimedes, what do you think you're doing? Using myself as bait, and before you know it... This one's on the rocks! Are they eating the the sand snake, the sand crawler? Bruh. Archimedes. Back at the Grand Conservatory, you said your people had pulled a kid in a fat out of the fire, going as far back as the origin of the floating island. What did you mean by that? Good question, Guardian. You're not as hopeless as I'd thought. If you've learned anything, it's better to listen than to speak. Echidna legends tell of a time when our island was landbound, imperiled by a great white comet. How do I know? Because my people were there. In response to the threat, your Echidna ancestors had concocted a daring plan to save their city. They gathered the Chaos Emeralds into, a crystalline caverns b into the crystalline caverns beneath their city. The plan was to focus the James' energies through the chaos, the chaos Chamber, negate the force of gravity, and physically uplift the Kidnopolis out of harm's way. If we Fire Ants hadn't performed the groundbreaking ceremony, my ancestors granted our island to the freedom of the skies, a freedom it enjoys to this very day. Not the first time we've saved the Kidna Bacon, or the last. Decades later, technology... Technologists Edmund and Dimitri devised a method to return this island to the ground. The scientific elite thought it too dangerous to try, but that, but that only served to go the power-hungry and unstable Dimitri further. Driven mad by his own ambition, he used the Chaos Siphon he and his brother had designed. It drained the power- oh my god, we know these things already. My god. I mean, doesn't Knuckles know this too, technically, though? Or were we just seeing, like, things happen back then, but Knuckles didn't really know? You know what I mean? Why did we let bro cook? <laughs> Drained the powers of eleven of the island's twelve emeralds into himself and raised the great dark tower as a monument to his treachery. Eating away at its foundation, my people collapsed the tower within itself, burying Dimitri beneath Mount Fate for all times. Or so we thought. Behind, since then, we've always been there, behind the scenes, lending a helping hand as needed. From generation to generation. That's why I've been testing you. To make sure you're up to the tasks that lie ahead. Then Dimitri resurfaced as Enerjack, captured us and dumped us here out of spite. Y yeah I, I remember that part. I, I was there for that one. Dmitri Enerjek was the most feared menace in recorded history. And he's had over a thousand years to plan his revenge. We've got to get back to the Grand Conservatory before he sets those plans in motion. <laughs> Oh, 
Excellent. With the Guardian and the Fire Ant dispatched, and their allies, the aptly named Chaotix, indisposed, I may affect my homecoming undisturbed. At long last, the former site of Echidnopolis, or should I say, the once and future site of Necronopolis. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. Need water. And food? He's gonna turn to a fucking piece of bacon or like a like a delicious drumstick. Mm. <laughs> Don't ever, ever do that again. Who's my favorite writer and artist of, of the Archie stuff? Or what do you mean? Just like in general? <laughs> Enter check. <laughs> oh, I was wondering why Dar was barking so much. <sighs> <laughs> mm, a funny snack, man. <laughs> he tastes very good. <laughs> no one was giving Archie the time of day by the time the, by the common continuity while it was releasing. It had something to do with to inform readers. Oh. <laughs> Knuckles. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Is that his dad? Oh. Dad? You must be brave, my son. You must be very brave. The path which lies ahead is a long and difficult one. Enerjack can be defeated. The key to your present peril is in our past. You've come so far. Too far to surrender to despair. Especially when salvation... <sighs> Bro's making Stonehenge. Waits beyond the next rise. I don't believe it. A hidden oasis. What is he even eating? Gates in the forest and re recreation for one day, Guardian. We were lucky to find this place. No. Luck had nothing to do with it. Something, someone, or something meant for us to reach. The oasis? It's gone! But it had to be there. That would explain those hot peppers I was eating. Ah. And the supplies for the... And the supplies for the backpacks. And not a mirage. They must have come from somewhere. Or someone. Hmm. Even if the oasis was a mirage, that city in front of us is as real as it gets. <sighs> Ain't Jack's been one busy echidna. He's recreated Echidnopolis into a dark, corrupt reflection of ancient history. It's like one big maze. Any idea where to look for him? Will... If Dimitri is running true to form, he's probably holed up in his new home. A.K.A. Don't, please don't fucking say the name. I swear to God, if you say the name. Yo, e yo, e yo, e yo, Energic Citadel. Okay. I was, I was going to say, like, if you say fucking necro, Necropopolis or whatever, there's no way you could have known that was the name. You weren't there. <laughs> That's true, that's true. Why would he believe the city was real when the Oasis seems so real? Maybe you should sleep in the day and walk at night. Honestly, that's probably that's probably true. Although I don't I doubt they'd be able to sleep with how hot it is. Oh, 
I'll be right back. I hear the washing machine doing something. Hold on. What did you do to the washing machine chair? <laughs> Who murdered Sonic the Hedge? Chair! Who was it? Was it the fan base? Say it ain't so. Then what are we waiting for? Wahoo! <laughs> they just showed up and started fucking shit up. Is, is Archimedes about to use Knuckles as like a club? Like he's grabbing onto a dreadlock and just about to like whoosh. He killed Cher. <laughs> the Citadel is under attack. All units bling, converge. Holy shit. What are you going to do? Melt the robots? Crush, kill, destroy. Smooth move, genius. Now every Mykonaut in the city is after us. You dumbass. Exactly. Won't do my distant granduncle a whole world of good if they're out there. And we're in here. Isn't this what they did in Archie? No, not Arch. In Fleetway? When they were on the, the alien planet and, like, Tails was trying to save Sonic and whatever? Whew. Next time you pull a crazy son like that, give an ant a little warning first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was Knuckles. Whew. Next time you pull a crazy stunt like that, give an ant a little warning first. Sorry. Something's not right. I've gotten too far. Met with too little resistance. I thought Enerjack would have better... Defenses? <laughs> ah! Ding! Ooh! Ah! No. Well, that that was like I, I was wondering. I was like, wait, Sting is that a bee? As a matter of fact, he does. Oh no! To get at Enerjack, we have to fight the Chaotix. Trapped in this machine. I don't know why I started. Saying that's Team Dark. I was thinking, I was trying to think of Team Chaotix's theme song. <laughs> I start singing this machine. Wow. Wow, wow. I really am not just... I am tired, huh? <laughs> Wrong song. Oops. My bad. Their directives tracking down your cream. Trap it down your crime. <laughs> Come along for the ride. You can run but not hide. So long the game is on now. A tail solo story inside, thank God. Wait, these things are back? You guys remember these things? These were the ones that, like, this is when Robotnik was a general or whatever. My favorite Chaotix member is Shadow Rouge and Omega. <laughs> you may find yourself only getting through one or two comics. That's because the comics get longer as the time goes on. Right, yeah, I remember that. Because I remember in the issue 150, there's there's no way it's only 24 or 26 pages. Like, I remember it being, like, way longer than that. Hmm, of all the places to be in the middle of the storm... Antoine, you know we're on, on a scouting mission. Princess Sally needs a first-hand report on Robotropolis' condition after the earthquake. We, oui, but where is Sonic? Where he usually is, up ahead. Blue streak, speed by the doo -doo Sonic the Hedgehog. Too fast for the naked eye. Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Sonic, he can... I love that, like, instead of saying his name, because it's like, oh, we don't want him to be too full of himself, he, like, replaces it with... Denim, he can really move. Denim, he's got an attitude. Catchy tune, I wonder where I've heard that before. He's the fastest thing alive. What took you guys so long? <laughs> yuck, yuck. Really? That's how you're going to make him laugh? Yuck, yuck. Very funny, but I must insist we head back before the storm worsens. Oh, Freddy. Okay, Freddy Fox. We've got the info we need. The only thing I am afraid of is that is not my shadow. Fire in the hall. <laughs> Where is this hole? It, it's going to be in your head if you don't move. <laughs> Combots. I thought they were all destroyed. Tails, maneuver S461. What atomic drop coming up? Uh, down. Wait, I do not like this. <clears throat> Priority to neutralize sun. <clears throat> Ouch, maneuver. <clears throat> dunk, dunk. Way to go, big guy. Honestly, this is probably some of the most dynamic, actually really cool, like, action sequences in this entire comic run so far. It's pretty, pretty action-filled. Now for my part, drop kick to the chest. Not for my part, drop kick to the chest. And his partner does the rest. As the storm and battle rage on, why is there such a huge <laughs> space between rage and on? Oh, goodbye, Bulin. Bulin, Yulin. These guys are tougher than swap bots. We could really use some help. Mother Nature miraculously res responds to a summons. But whose side is she really on? Whoa! I've never seen a bot explode like that before! Sonic! Sonic! Antoine! He's not moving! And he's got crosses on his eyes! That means he's dead or knocked out at the very least! Hurry! Bring the help! I do not think he's going to make it! <laughs> okay, this- I might actually make this one an emote. I've been- I've been waiting for one that, like, to really, to really make an emote. This- I think we found the one. <laughs> I think this is the one. <laughs> That we we have to use that one for like really cringe moments. <laughs> Sonic, you're all right. Chill, everybody. Went for a heck of a ride, but I'm cool. But Robo Slob's not gonna not gonna be. He and his cumbots are back in action. Our spy network reported what they could. Tails filled us up on the rest. Wait, where are you going? You still need a checkup and a battle plan. Oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's an interesting face, too. Swarm. No time. Before Buttonick gets his computers fully booted up, I'm going to boot him. I think he has a concussion. Sonic, are you okay? Uh, I guess I'm still a little... Lucy, ugh. Wait! But if I weren't a bit dizzy, I'd never be involved with this hero stuff. Later! Just <laughs> runs into the wall. Hi, Sonic. Hi, Bunny. W Bunny, I didn't know you had super speed. I don't, sugar, and neither do you. Oh, God, that face. <laughs> no way! That can't be true! It is! You've lost your speed! You're right. I'm not even fast enough to swat this mosquito. Oh, God, this art is, like, all over the place. It, like, goes from, like, authentic, spazianti like Sonic to just more realistic, like, way too detailed, like, really thick outlining. It's... it's weird. <laughs> it's a good cringing face. Hmm... <laughs> A possible theory is that the unknown energy powering that combot, which combined with and was exploded by the electrical storm, somehow bathed you in a field of anti-inertia negative energy, resulting in your speed loss. 
You know, if you had two brains, you'd be dangerous. Sonic, he's just trying to help. I know. It's just that my speed has been a part of me since I was a little hedgehog. And it was one of the best weapons we had against Robotnik. <laughs> I'm cool. And <laughs> Why did he wear shirts as a child, but then just stopped wearing shirts as an adult? Or like a teenager? Observation. Since Mystic Power Rings provide Sonic with extra power, in theory, the possession of numerous rings may restore his speed. You know, Nicole, once in a while, you're all right. Thank you, Sonic. Wait, <laughs> did you think I wasn't all right? Did you have any animosity towards me before? Forget about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> On the outskirts of Not Whole Village. Let's hope we escaped Robotropolis undetected. Affirmative. My sensors have not detected any energy... Wait. Sensors are now detecting... Priority one. Capture freedom fighters. Cumbots! They have some sort of cloaking ability. Oh god, the Cumbots just... Use their move against... It's an amber! <laughs> oh god. I can't even make a joke! <laughs> Tails! Bunny! Oh god. What's happening to Bunny? Not much good without my speed, but this indestructible power ring still makes a good weapon. Swoosh! <laughs> oh, it's gonna blow! <laughs> Oh, don't say kablooge. I've been making the, the joke for the longest time. Didn't I go through this before? <laughs> Priorities one and two accomplished. Freedom fighters captured and Sonic the Hedgehog neutralized. <laughs> hey, it's, um... Can I remember her name? It's not Rebecca. It's... What the hell's her name? Penelope. God damn it. Got you. You almost drowned. Well, thanks, Penelope. That explosion stunned me, but for more than one reason. I'd say I died at the right time. Not that it'll do me too much not that it'll do me much good now. After we saw the battle on the spy cam. We got here as fast as we could. We're no longer trainees. Whoa, Sally's trainees! Oh, sorry. <laughs> God damn. Why are they drawing their mouths like that? We're no longer trainees, and we're here to help. I don't even remember what voices I gave Dylan and Arlo. I don't know. Wh why do I remember their names? <laughs> Hamlin, Arlo, Dylan, and Penelope. Uh, I couldn't remember Penelope's name, to be fair. but. And we won't rest until everyone's rescued. Now that the legendary Lake of Rings has been found, uh, and accidentally, we can go to step two. Okay, freedom fighters. Why is that in quotation marks? They are freedom fighters. I'm back to one power ring and I still don't have my speed. But speed or no speed, we're going in. Later, in an abandoned shack outside Robotropolis, who the hell is, what the fuck, who are these guys? <laughs> oh, right, 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 the people who were disguised as SWAT boss, that's right. So, what's the buzz from the spy network, Fly Fly Freddy? Our agents revealed that Robotnik's got our friends in prison in his secondary lab. Since Robotropolis hasn't been completely safeguarded yet, you can gain access via this air shaft. Sorry, I have Tourette's. <laughs> 1996. Was this actually 1996? It was. But to get to the shaft, you'll have to travel along this narrow maintenance pathway. No problemo. We can make it. You guys did your part, now we'll do ours. Thanks. Thank your Uncle Chuck. He's been a great source of data. With his help, we will bring Robotnik down. Good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. You know, for the first time without sonic speed, I'm worried. As our heroes travel the pathway... Take it slow. One wrong step and it's a 60-foot drop. I don't know who said that. The speech bubble's like way too far. It, may, it might have been Arlo, I don't know. 
Take it slow. Who's he kidding? When I had my speed, this would have been a cakewalk. Yeah, but it's not now. That's why. <laughs> you know, one wrong step and you fall. Whoa, Nelly! <laughs> gotcha! After all, since porcupines and hedgehogs are related, I wouldn't want to lose a family member, cuz. You know cousin of mine, Porky! <laughs> Damn, dude. I love that I even said cuz. Also, why does it look like Sonic's missing a tooth? Come on, Sonic. This is no time for a quarrel. We're counting on your leadership. She's right. For our sakes, for all our sakes, we've got to keep our courage up. We're here. It's going to be a tight fit. Keep, take it easy and keep it quiet. <laughs> Greetings, Hedgehog. Were you foolish enough to believe my defenses were so low it couldn't detect you? Or that... Or through Snively's persuasive tactics, I wouldn't discover your secret. <laughs> Why does Snively look like Spongegar? <laughs> he looks just really pissed off. I'm going to enjoy eliminating you, you all the more, now that you're powerless. He looks bu I, I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but Robotnik looks like buff now. Like, he's, he's obviously still fat, but like... He just looks strong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Roboticization chamber. Why haven't you roboticized them yet? Listen, Blubber Butt, Snively's paid to act like an idiot. Why do you do it for free? Damn. <laughs> Snively's mugshot for sure. Ah, come, bots, destroy them now. Guess I should have kept my mouth shut. <sighs> These guys are brave, but they're no match for these bots. Too bad the lake only gives one power ring a day. If only I had another. I'm a real dope. I totally forgot I do have another one in my backpack. You have your billionth ring, too. Two rings, but I still don't feel any different. If I just had one more. Bingo! There's the other ring I forfeited during our battle at the lake. One chance. Gotta go for the gold. Stop him. Uh-oh. They grabbed him. He's been grabbed. Oh. Not today. Not any. Any day. Now with my... Oh, those are action lines. For some reason, I thought this one on the right was, like, supposed to be another speech bubble. I'm like, where does that even lead? <laughs> Now with my speed back, I can really move, and boy do I have an attitude. I'm the fast- oh, there it is. And with these power rings, there's no doubt what I can do. I'm the fastest thing alive. Okay, Conehead, your bots are busted, my friends are free, and your story's ended. Wow, Bunny looks really happy to be there. She looks excited. <laughs> Fucking Antoine's face. I can't explain it, but he kind of looks like Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents a little bit. I don't know why. Just the f something about the expression makes him look very like, hmm. I mean, Tails at the very least looks like he's ready for a fight, you know? But Bunny just looks bored, and then Antoine's just like, okay. <laughs> Perhaps today, and I did have such high hopes for my combots. Pity. Whoa! He's escaping! Yes, and just to make sure you don't steal any of my technology, I've set a bomb to go off. But I am a sporting man, so I'll give a 60 second head start and counting. Ta ta! You're gonna blow up your own base? I mean, I guess you can afford to make another one, but it just. Did everyone make it out okay? Oh, that's Sonic. Did everyone make it out okay? We all made it out, Sonic, just in the nick of time. We'll meet again, Robotnik, but next time, I'll pick the place. And we'll be meeting again, too. <laughs> okay, random fucking... He doesn't even look like Fang in this. He looks like a dopey, goofy Disney villain. Sonic the Hedgehog could really go for a few bedtime tales. How'd you call it, Sonic? All oh, my hedgehogs. I think it's getting... Uh, huh. <laughs> uh. Where's... 
a scintillating saga of triumph and tragedy crafted with care in the mighty Mobius Manor by Mike Kantarovich and Ken Penders with John D'Agostino, Vicky Williams, and Barry Grossman. Well, I've got just what the doctor ordered! Comic books! <laughs> I wrote and drew these myself! They're about four fantastic freedom fighters who lived in Nottle Village way back when! I love that Tails is like an artist and like he he does comic books in this universe. You ever notice how Fang's nose and mouth kind of look like a missile? They do, kind of. Yeah, they do. Look at that. Now that I have you for a captive audience, let me take you along for a three hour tour of outer space. Ah, hey, Tails is me. <laughs> and Sonic is you guys. <laughs> the solar winds were getting rough, their rocket ship was tossed. If not for mysterious galactic rays, our heroes would be lost. Wow, this really is just the Fantastic Four. I thought it was going to be at least... I thought it was just a coincidence that, like... Oh, I didn't even really realize that they do have the... Fantastic Four stuff. Four Fantastic Freedom Fighters. They even have the FF. Wow. In this collector's I item issue, new costumes, new gadgets, and other startling surprises. The greatest comic magazine on Mobius. Hey, it's issue number... For 12 cents? Damn, Tails. You're underselling yourself. Instead, they all got superpowers and made a solemn vow to fight for freedom! I love that Rotor doesn't even have a suit. He just has shorts. <laughs> hey, Sonic's got like those new popular Pac-Man shoes or whatever. You guys see those? <laughs> we actually want to read the comics with you. Aw, well thank you, Ayan. <laughs> I don't get it. How do they survive the crash? They're superheroes, okay? Sometimes you gotta take this stuff on faith. <clears throat> now where was I? Oh, yeah! Soon afterward, a mysterious signal flare exploded over the countryside. It said freedom fighters on it. Look, those words in the sky. What do they mean? That's a good question. What do they mean? That, that the money I spent on this flare gun wasn't wasted. And now that you're here, there's something else I'd like you to see. An alien space... What the hell is this Sonic drawing from behind, dude? I've seen Sonic drawn in many ways from the back. He looks like a goddamn armadillo in this one. Like, he looks more like an armadillo than Mighty does. I think Darla's at the door. Baby girl. You want a piece? No? You just want to chill? Okay. An alien spacecraft passing through the fifth quadrant of the Squirrel Galaxy. Where's it headed, Sal? I haven't the foggiest. It could land anywhere. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Whatever it was, it landed on the roof. Let's go, gang. Do you want up? Oh, you do want up. Okay, come on. Oopa. Freedom fighters forever! Look at this, dude. Look at how Sonic is drawn from the back. What the hell? <laughs> Everyone says hi, Dar. She's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> My quest for fine dining is at an end. This world should prove an exceptionally satisfying midday meal. So speaks Robotnikus. <laughs> it is. It's Galactus. Honestly, I thought he was going to be Doctor Doom, but okay, I guess Galactus makes more sense? Question mark. <laughs> Pro is a pineapple. <sighs> Sounds like he's planning to eat the planet. You know the drill, Sonic. Right, Sal. We'll hold him off till you. We'll hold him off till you get back. I hope. I <laughs> Robotnikus. I'm back! 
And look what I brought with me. Golden cream filled Twinkies. 100% pure rubber foam. Want to feel big guy? Oh, Twinkles, not Twinkies. They have to be legally distinct. Dude, get yourself someone who looks at you the way Robotnikus looks at Twinkles. Looks at, look at that. What is it, baby girl? <clears throat> I can't resist their creamy filling. Maybe just one. Several thousand bags later. Curse you, freedom fighters! You've spoiled my appetite and given me an ache in... <laughs> and given me an ache in my tum-tum! I return now to the planet Bromo for a seltzer, but I'll be back for dinner. And we'll be waiting with more golden cream filled twinkles. You can avoid a fight with every bite. <laughs> Darla snore, indeed. She do she do snore. <laughs> the end! So what did you think of my story, Sonic? Sonic? Uh, Dar Darla was doing Sonic snoring. That's that's why. Do it, Dar. Do the snore. See, she, she's contributing too. <laughs> Gee, he must have been even sicker than I thought. There's, there, there she, there's Sonic. <laughs> the very next day. Guess what, Tails? I'm all better now. That's nice, Sonic. That's not, I'm not. You're not? Well, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Huh? Can't appreciate good fiction. <laughs> Damn, he printed those fast. Comic books. It's bad Sonic. Holy new look, Sonic fans. Miss a dark. Don't miss a dark hog returns. Um, <clears throat> he was a dark and stormy night. Oh, lame, lame as fuck. <laughs> Kid tested and mother approved. The greatest comic magazine on Mobius. Oh wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> they made like a full page like pinup of this. That's really cool. <laughs> That's so neat. I love that they did that. I mean, they might as well have. Neat. Okay, and now if we go to Knuckles 3. What's up, Dar? What you looking at? Oh. Did I have anything copied? Whatever. Knuckles. Number three. What you sneeze? Why you sneeze? Oh, you give keys. She give keyses. And the next one will be Sonic the Hedgehog 39. Who were those on the wallpaper? What? Sonic's friendly nemesis, Knuckles. <laughs> I love that their eyes are like foggy. Sonic the Hedgehog with great reluctance presents his friendly nemesis Knuckles and the Echidna's traveling companion Archimedes as they battled the Chaotix in order to defeat the even deadlier threat of Enerjack. You got gunkies. Hold on. There you go. Deep within the heart of the Ebon Citadel, the fate of everything we know, as we know, it will be decided. A battle to be fought, with neither side offering or giving any quarter. Here, the past collides with the present, as Descendant squares off against Ancestor. The fiercest of opponents in any conflict are always those linked with the thickest of blood. For them, matters become more personal as the struggle evolves from the mere physical contest to one of to one of conquering the opponent's heart and soul. Up until now, Knuckles has been master of all he surveyed on the tropical paradise known as the Floating Island. Content in the belief that his was a noble calling, now he must fight for what he believes in or surrender to a legacy of fear. Although guided by his mentor, the fire ant known as Archimedes, Knuckles may find he needs more than a little help. He may need a miracle as well. How many comic covers so far were too baity compared to actual comics content, in my opinion? Um, I feel like a lot of them tend to be kind of, like, 
baity, I guess. I, I, I want to say clickbaity, but that's technically not accurate. Because, uh, like, and I, the reason for it is because they're supposed to draw you in, right? They're supposed to be like, oh, the end of Sonic the Hedgehog? How how is he going to end? So it's just like you pick it up and it's like, oh, it's like a it's like one scene in this comic, but okay, sure. I guess it happened. Bye, Beatty. Yeah. <laughs> the serene calm of the night sky over Necronopolis conceals well the conflict about to erupt. You can do this easy, or you can do it rough. Either way. Enerjack still wins! Wait for my signal, comrade. You may have us trapped cold. Flame off, bud! But we can still make it hot for you. <sighs> yeah, I really like Mawinnie's art. It's really good. Like, I'm looking at these poses and I'm looking at, like, their proportions and stuff. And it's really strong. Like, I like the way Knuckles is drawn. Archimedes is drawn really well. Everyone's drawn really well here. He might be one of my favorite artists so far in the Archie run. Or I'll really cool you off! <sniffs> With some heavy duty H200! Smoking! <sniffs> hey! Where'd that fog come from? Where'd they go? Man, his nose is extra pointy in that one. Who knows what fear lurks in the hearts of those who have been duped? That voice gives me the chills. Where's it coming from? We know. <sighs> Good thing for me you aren't yourself, Mighty, or this would be mighty tough. As for you, Vector, I think you need to sit this one out. S Sorry about this, kid, but a bit better a bee than me. <sighs> I should have anticipated this. My mindless minions can't think for themselves. Therefore, I must take action. Enough! Uh, Archimedes, what's, what's happening to us? All right, my programmed puppets. Bring the Echidna and Fire Ant to me. After all, it's been a long time since I visited with the family. I'm quite sure, Echidna, you haven't any concept of just how long, but I'd wager the Fire Ant does. Did you know that at one time the Echidnas were the most advanced species on Mobius? My brother- Oh my god, are we really fucking doing this again? I swear to god, dude. I can't believe we're getting the same backstory for like the fifth comic in a row, man. We're Echidnopolis' top scientist, and it was our dream to restore the floating island to its native Mobius, utilizing the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. I created the Chaos Emeralds cycle, which would gradually absorb the energy of the Chaos Emeralds generated by the Emeralds, thus lowering us until we were joined with the land. However, we were denied with the council elders, foolish bald man, too weak willed to see that our predicament required a solution that was boring and dulled. My brother was among them, and so it fell to me to carry out the plan. Unfortunately, what I didn't count on was the redirection of the energy was channeled onto changing me into something far more. However, I planned with my arrogance, I had not taken into account my ancestors in entering the fray fire and then they followed my plans, bringing me on a creation upon me. I suppose my brother Edmund took it upon himself to atone for my deeds, probably racked with guilt of my death, but it not, I did not die for untold generations of the lay in utter blackness until it was time for the right, my rebirth and my renewed life force I emerged free to conquer a world and beyond. Of all who could possibly stand in my way were you two, making your removal from the scene my highest priority. I admit amazement that you made it through the desert. We're not really here, you know. We're a mirage. You're imagining things in your state of delusional grandeur. Interesting. He doesn't know about the oasis we found out there. Don't mock me, young pup. Behold! <laughs> Storytelling is my passion. <laughs> you can't even begin to comprehend the power I wield. Power so limitless that the energy it takes to hold this island aloft can create a new tower from the earth. Only this time, I don't foresee it collapsing any time soon. Don't be so sure. History just might repeat itself. Right, Archimedes? Truer than you know, Echidna. <laughs> oh, I thought he was like 
trying to hit Enerjack with a laser or something. But he's just communicating with his fellow ants. I hardly think so. Let me demonstrate. But that was, that was but a mild taste. Are we supposed to be impressed? No. You're supposed to quake in mortal terror at the fate I have in store for you. Prepare yourselves. Yeah, let's go, gang. Brr. For this is one time you can't escape. Wait for my signal, lad. I bid you adieu. That means hello in Hawaiian. <laughs> what? You really think some cheap parlor trick will help you elude me? Just as I stem the flow of air from the al from allowing you to breathe, I will. They vanished. <laughs> Ants versus demigod. Who wins? Of all the attention, chaotix. The Echidna and Fire Ant are on the loose. Locate and capture, then bring them to me. The Master commands! We must be quick with our task! What? There they go. The illusion trick is something else. So what's next? They're storming the Citadel. Oh no. Next, we prepare to counterattack. How do you propose we do that? He doesn't need to be anywhere near us in order to strike. You're quite correct, comrade. However, we have an ace up our sleeve. We do? We do. Right now, for some reason, my illusion trick, as you put it, keeps us concealed from energy. Thus, we'll be able to get in position and... <sighs> Surprise! <sighs> 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 Yeah, this is a plan, all right. Don't just stand on top of him. Cuff him. What? Ooh, enough. What did you hope to accomplish with that maneuver? That I'd laugh myself silly? How disappointing. I at least expected better of you, Echidna. The name's Knuckles in a check. Or should I say, Great Uncle Dimitri. The only echidna who ever put himself over our his own kind. I've known all about you for a long time. I am what I am because of... because of you. No. Oh, God, hiccups. <laughs> you are who you are because of my spineless brother. You are who you are, because of all the sacred sheep on the ground counts. Oh, I thought that helped. I read something that, like, if you get hiccups, you should, like, take three big deep breaths and, like, hold it for a little bit. Instead of just, like, taking one giant deep breath and holding that, just do it, like, like you're, like you're pumping air or something, and that that, like... Helps get rid of it. <laughs> will I stream the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes, I will do it tomorrow. And probably the day after as well, but we will see. You are who you are because of all the sacred sheep on the Grand Council. <sighs> they didn't have my vision or my courage. You call this courage? Fighting with enhanced strength. <laughs> I need only my raw, natural strength to take you out, pup. You may be st you may be stronger, but do you know how to fight? <laughs> I have forgotten more than you have learned. Where's your bravado now, great nephew? You have forgotten more than he has learned. That means that he's learned that he knows and has learned more than you have forgotten. Right? I, I've i learned less than you have forgotten? <laughs> Just sounds weird. 
What type of stream would I like us to rate today content-wise? Um, I don't know. What are my options? What's wrong, baby Dar? Hey, down, Babu. It's with my pride and honor, great uncle. Those are qualities I'll never lose. Qualities you never had. No. I mean, these action sequences are pretty cool. Truthfully. You want to go with Lily? You want to go? You, go. go. Hang on, Arky. Pronounced Arky. Guess Knuckles is feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm switching to cloud mode. How's that for a landing? <sighs> he just steps on one of the ants. Thank you, everyone, for coming, though I knew as I knew you would. Are you sure you should do voices while having hiccups? I mean, I'm I'm not going to stop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if if I can... Honestly, they went away after, like, what I did, so... It's cool. Whatever type of stream... I mean, if if someone's... On the off chance that someone's streaming, like, Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, that'd be cool. <laughs> and once again, the Great Enerjack was defeated by ants. <laughs> But Archimedes, Archimedes, we only created an escape route so you could get away. We had nothing to do with launching the Citadel into space. Then who? The city. It's vanishing like a bad nightmare. Ugh. Boy, I feel like my head's been stomped on. You look like your head's been stomped on. No, you look like your head's been stomped on. Just the same. It's great to see your mugs. Knuckles! You did it again, Knox. But how'd you do it this time? Yeah! For once, guys, I can't take the credit. It was a combination of things that added up when I put them together. My dad's story, plus Archimedes's... Plus Archimedes's, plus Enerjack's. But it was all the same one. What do you mean combined? It was all the same story. What changed? <laughs> Nothing changed. <laughs> I couldn't never defeat an Jack on my own. However, if I could depend on the unlikeliest of sources for help, I stood a better than... I stood a, a better than even chance of beating him. Until now, I was basically a loner, relying on myself. Oh. Until now, I was basically a loner, relying only on myself. I think Enerjack sensed that and figured I wouldn't go beyond that. I simply learned from history. Enerjack didn't. For all... For all his omnipotence, even Enerjack didn't know about the oasis we found in the middle of nowhere. And we still haven't a clue where it came from or disappeared to. Ah, oh, who cares? The good guys... <laughs> The good guys won anyway. Let's party. I don't understand. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't understand what the mirage or what the oasis had anything to do with anything. Like, how does that factor into them winning and like into Enerjack's plan? Like, I feel like those are two very separate things. Oh, okay. I mean, I still feel like it has nothing to do with anything, but okay, I guess they're trying to explain, like, oh, but where did the Oasis come from? It's like, dude, I don't know. I guess that was just something that I wasn't concerning myself with. I didn't answer your question yesterday, but it did get answered. You didn't ask a question yesterday. I didn't stream yesterday. <laughs> it was Sunday yesterday. Let's party! As well you should. Especially you, Knuckles. You've conducted yourself nobly and well. By distracting your great uncle through valiant combat, you allowed me to complete the rocket engines that carried him from this world. Without your efforts, all would have been lost. You understood the message of history. We are all together as one. That you accepted Archimedes as an ally gladdens me further. Though natural apo- Though natural opposites, both echidnas and fire ants are intertwined for mutual benefit. Thus, the relationship continues. As for me, I shall keep a watchful eye as my forefathers have done for countless generations. 
For isn't it the father's duty to look after his son? Ever since I made initial contact to begin your training for more advanced responsibilities, I didn't think you could adapt to new situations. But you surprised me, I will admit. You've shown me you're up to the task of being guardian of the floating island. Just don't let it go to your head, my lad. It's okay. You're okay yourself, Arky. For a fire ant, that is. You know, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Epilogue. <laughs> the end for now. Okay, that was an ending, I guess. That sure did end. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I have to remember that this is next. Which I, w I probably will remember because it'll be on OBS. But 39 is next. You found a stream to raid? Did anyone else do so as well? Uh, I don't know. Did Ion find something? Uh, Mecha Madness. We could have developed Chuckles' relationship with the Chaotix, but no, we needed repeated exposition. Exactly, exactly. Like, the whole time he's just like, oh, the Chaotix are lost, and my dad would tell me the story all the time about this, these two brothers. It's like, yes, we know, goddammit. We know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on. There we go. Mecha Madness starts here. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Look at that Sonic expression. Sonic the Hedgehog will come to... will come to order. Sorry, but you're... Hold on. No, I'll just leave it like this. Hold on. Sonic the Hedgehog will come to order. Sorry, your request was denied, but that's democracy in action. Must he go into a sonic spin? Is that? What is that calendar a reference to? I thought it was a reference to like another Sega game or something. Okay, so Mike Gallagher wrote this. Spaz was the artist for this. Okay. But it's a perfect plan. Any fool can see. Watch it, mister. Unless you want to see monarchy in action. I meant no disrespect, princess. Come on, it'll work. We'll let Robotnik roboticize me, and using one of Rotors' neural overriders, my mind will still be free. Then, with a super-enhanced bot body, I'll trash him in Robotropolis for good. No way, Sonic! Sally tried that and it almost destroyed us all! We can't risk a Mecha Sonic on the loose! I can handle it, Rotor. Give me a sh- Okay, the only reason it didn't work with Sally was because the fucking neural overrider fell off. If if you like make sure that it's inside his his ear or something, it would probably work, right? <laughs> Freedom fighters are true Americans um, until the part where they mention like monarchies and stuff. In that case, they're no longer. <laughs> you don't think they knew it fell off, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they did, because I'm pretty sure they saw the neuro overrider, right? It needs to be easily removable. Uh, then put it in his... I don't know, man. <laughs> How does it even work to begin with? Because, like, it doesn't have to be implanted directly in the brain. So it can just be, like, on his ear, right? That means it can be, like, somewhere completely off. Why doesn't he just put it, like, under his tongue or something? <laughs> you thought Snively found it. Oh, you're right, you're right. Snively did find it. You're right. Pardon me, y'all, but I have experience with this. Half of my body is robotic because Robotnik tossed me into one of his bot makers. You know, Sonic, you saved me. Yes, Bunny, but... This is pointless. The plan has been rejected by unanimous... Okay, okay, I can take a hint. 
Um, Self-important political. I'll talk no action. Hmm. There, Jog seems disgruntled. Maybe he should be monitored. Wait, Bug? Wasn't that a Sega Saturn game? I think it was. Don't even suggest it, Antoine. Sonic may be many things, but Disloyal isn't one of them. Is that clear? Oh, of course, your, your majesty. <laughs> what makes them the council? You know what I mean? Like, what makes them qualified to, to decide, like... Because we've never seen something like this before. Like, what makes... I mean, I guess they're all capable, but I don't know. An embittered Sonic races away from the secret village of Knothole, out into the Great Forest, past the Knothole Jailhouse, and finally stopping at the new Freedom Fighters training facility. Huh! I'm gonna blow some steam in the weight room! Doom! Just the dumbbell I was hoping to say. Foolish Freedom Fighter! Did you really think your primitive prison could hold Nick the Weasel for long? Oh, that- you, so you just escaped, just cause? Remember me, Sonic? I remember you, and your pale knuckles. He coyoted me when we went into the floating island to find the second half of the broken chaos emerald. I had a deal with Arvor Robotnik to bring you to Robotropolis. As they say, better late than never. Masterbot Theater. What? Are you reading the script for this comic? Ah, welcome back, gentle reader. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the renegade bounty hunter, Knack the Weasel, had captured Sonic, and he soon delivered the hated hedgehog to his <laughs> doom. Sonic the Hedgehog is mine at last. Yes, oh lord of lo- Wow, crab meat is back? Bruh, we haven't seen crab meat in a hot sec. <laughs> What's he doing back? <laughs> he saw Robocop with that. That looks cool. I want to do that. Robotnik is drawn so differently by the different artists. Yeah, he really is, isn't he? I love the way that Spaz draws him. Just because he looks so menacing. But I, I kind of do love seeing how different artists draw him. But at the same time, I feel like he really had an understanding of, like, how... I don't know, man. I like Mawinnie, but there's something about Spaz's art that I really, really do like. Because I feel like he knew how to do both Sonic characters and human characters. And Mawinnie, like, I... Uh, have I seen Mawinnie draw Robotnik before? I'm sure I have. I just wasn't really paying attention. Not yet, Blubber Buns. Time to pay the piper. In cash. I won't make the usual mistakes this time. No gloating, no speeches, no <laughs> chuckling. Straight to the roboticizer with him. Yo, no money, no hedgehog, Flabio. Hey, do not diss the master. You heard, Cradmeat. Mr. Weasel, he does not like your tone of voice. Oh, yeah? No, oh. you heard, Cradmeat, Mr. Weasel. He does not like the tone of your voice. Oh, yeah? And what's a little seafood cocktail gonna do about it, huh? Shall we show the man crabby? I'd love to, old ground round one. Catching. <gasps> Never underestimate one of my bots, boy. Your reward for bringing Sonic here is to be allowed to leave alive. Yeah! <sighs> At long last, I had to turn Sonic into a mindless robot. Yes. My dream <laughs> come <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, I'd cry if I had a heart. Mike Schmidt speeches incorporated. Okay, whatever. Spaz understands that Sonics need exaggeration. I mean, yeah, it, reasonable exaggeration. I feel like because I still don't like how Spaz draws hands. I think that he overdoes hands a lot. But he, I mean, the exaggeration is is really good. I don't think that... Th there have been few times that he's exaggerated the characters and the way that they look that I felt like, oh, that's like an ugly drawing. I'm sure that, like, as the Pender stuff goes on, we're gonna see more of that, like, oh, that's, like, exaggerated in a bad way. <laughs> it was an advantage to designing yourself as a fat robot for the life of me. I just don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> Behold, Drabmeat, he has risen, the one true Mechasonic. Mecha-wow! 
Oh, I thought that was just a new thing. I didn't know that that was actually Sonic. All of Sonic's remarkable powers have been digitized, maximized, and multiplied into this magnificent ion-powered mega machine. Can it be trusted with so much power, Dr. Robotnik? Of course. After my encounter with Princess Sally, I have created all my roboticizers with brain burn through. It's a b new feature that assures control. Right, Mega Sonic? Robotnik's word is law. And now, a demonstration of power from my former employee of the month. At your command. You know the secret location of Knothole Village, home of those accursed freedom fighters. Level it. Yes, Ivo. Wow, he just fucking destroyed crab meat. So mean. Robotnik just builds him time and time again just to have him destroyed over and over again. Now go, my ultimate weapon of destruction. Leave not a scorched stone standing. They will perish. Crab meat was never repaired after this. Damn. Sag. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not that sad. I don't really care that much for crab meat. I like Snively a lot more. But still, like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> now, if only we could get crab meat to do the crab dance, being like, crab meat is finally dead. <laughs> My portable computer, Nicole, doesn't lie. That mechanical monster zeroing in on us is definitely Sonic the Hedgehog. But he's been roboticized. Uh, he also looks downright unfriendly. He disobeyed the council's order. He would be caught marshaled. Eat blaster fire, freedom fighters. He's strafing us. Get down. Yikes. That was too close. I'll say. Nicole, execute maneuver DLG-70. Working. He's circling back. Easy, Antoine. Nicole's creating multiple holographic images to confuse Mechasonic. Hello. Uh, couldn't he just get, like, heat signatures or something and just know which one's the real one? I strike you down for the glory of Robotnik. <laughs> wow, that won't trick him for long. He'll just blast them all until he nails the real us. Nicole, has Phase 2 been initiated? Affirmative. She is en route. Bunny? All hail, Robotnik. Uh, we're next, princess! Nicole, where is she? There, up in the sky! It's the bird! It's the plane! It's Bunny Rabbit, sugar! And you, sir... And you, sir, how dare you attack my friends that way? <sighs> Subject, B. Rabbit. Robo enhancement interrupted. Currently, freedom fighter. Just lay down and surrender like the Yankees at Chickamauga. What? <laughs> Is that some sort of southern reference that I don't understand? <laughs> you shall be returned to Robotropolis so your roboticization can be completed. Y'all gotta grab hold of me first, Tin Top. And that move ain't gonna get it, boy. My robotic legs can telescope up before you can say ouch. <laughs> 30 love my... Oh, like tennis? Thirty love, Mademoiselle Robot. Mamsel? I don't know what Mamsel means. <sighs> Ouch. <laughs> that expression is wild. <sighs> oh, my stars. I just barely got my shield up in time. <sighs> 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 is Bunny like the noob? Um, Cy... Cybernick, the... Short Fuse of Cybernick. All the new gadgets you added to Bunny's arsenal are working well, Rotor. And Rotor is just techno. But will they be enough to hold off Mecha Sonic? <laughs> I don't think so. But she can delay him long enough to for phase three. Nicole? Affirmative. Agent T2 on the line. Terminator 2? Agent T2! Do you read me? Oh, wait. Tails 2! Oh. 
Agent T2, do you read me? Loud and clear, Princess Sally! Not all control center standing by for your orders! Condition red! Repeat! Condition red! Understood. Moving to com- Oh, sorry. <laughs> Condition red! Repeat! C red! Understood! Moving to comm station! Mayday message transmitting! Full grid sweep in progress! Receptor frequency acquired! Spectrometric read readout indicates acknowledgement! I've sent everything over to Knuckles, who we have communication with now all of a sudden. I don't know why. Nice work, Tails. Thank you, ma'am. So nice to be treated like an adult. Ever since my solo adventure down under. Oh, yes. One more thing. Don't forget to wash, um, to wash him's your hands and brush him's your teethies. <sighs> wow. What a joke. <laughs> Bunny doesn't have a lot of flaws, but at least she's more humble about it. Yeah, I, I will say. It, do, it doesn't It does feel the same, but, like, I feel that just in terms of role, it, it feels very similar. You know, you know what I mean? He looks very... He looks... He does look very proud of himself. He can, he can operate tech, kinda. <laughs> yeah. You had the next comic? Really? That's cool. The Megasonic has been intercepted by that repulsive rabbit. What the hell are you wearing? You're wearing pajamas? Like those those itchy fluff... Like those itchy pajamas with... What the hell is happening? Your evening aperitif guru of gravity. <sighs> what? What? You chain... What the hell? <laughs> All I need is a remote power booster. I can transmit a surge through Megasonic that will turn her into Hoss... Hoss and Pfeiffer. Is, is Simon here? <laughs> or someone that speaks German? The fuck is Hoss and Pfeiffer? Is Carl here? Can he tell me what Hoss and Pfeiffer means? Look <laughs> at his bunny slides I saw. He's got some pretty good... He's got some pretty good slides. It came with a Sonic and Knuckles action figure. Did it really? That's cool. I wish I'd had that at the time. No Carl, no Simon. Well, damn. But aren't such boosters hard to build? No. As a matter of fact, you can contain all the necessary parts. I just had to ask. <laughs> there. Now give her the juice. <laughs> Wait, what? The hell did you just do? I, I'm so confused. Ah! <laughs> you installed something on a remote control device that... And through that remote control device, you gave Mechasonic a new ability? Like, you installed DLC remote... I mean, I guess that... It... Is it like he had this... He had the ability to do this on the disc, but you had to download it anyway kind of thing? Hassan Pfeiffer is a stew made out of rabbit meat. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty funny if I'd known what it was beforehand. Rest in peace. Look out! She's coming in like a bomb! Bunny, are you alright? Easy now. Give me a hand with her, Rotor. Hoo-wee! Didn't y'all get the number of that streetcar named Desire? Oh. Okay, just relax, Bunny. You did your best. Take her to Knotholes Infirmary. There won't be any nose holes in two minutes! Look! Uh, uh, uh huh? Oh no! Megasonic's heading for the living quarters! Oh, is he? Well, as my Uncle Beauregard used to say, the South shall rise again! Okay. Okay, her Uncle Beauregard was a Confederate. Uh. Well. Well. <laughs> oh, Emmy, it's like that that references uh something in American history from the Civil War where the North fought the South and the South was fighting for the rights to, you know, own slaves. <laughs> 
So to say that the South shall rise again is like, hey, you know, anyone who's not... Never mind. <laughs> Racist uncle lore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 not knowledgeable enough about the you know civil war and stuff to explain it properly. But all you all we need to know is that the South were the ones that were fighting for the rights of the states, which meant, hey, I can own people. <laughs> Go get him, Bunny. She rose up, all right, up, up and away. <laughs> Ian Flynn later. W- on was ha- had to recontextualize the line. Oh, really? That's hilarious. I'm glad, though. <laughs> Hassan is German for rabbit, and Pfeiffer is German for pepper, but sometimes refers to a sort of stew made out of pig meat or wild meat. Oh, that's cool. I love learning new things like that. That's really cool. Hassan Pfeiffer. So it's like spice... Or, well, yeah, I guess rabbit stew. But the idea that it's like spicy rabbit is kind of cool, too. <laughs> this is a cool image. This is really neat. This is a great drawing. I love this. She pulled him in with her pulse cannon, but she didn't stop him. That's bad news because that was her best shot. Now you pay the price for attacking Robotnik's ultimate fighting machine. I will say that the comics have a pension for that, I've noticed. Is that, like, it'll have ten or... However many, like, it'll it'll have a bunch of one-offs that are, like, really kind of jokey. It's nothing, like, too serious. A lot of them are, like, one-off stories. And then every so often it just presents us with, like, this giant, like, hey, this is a really important, this is, like, a really big uh, arc, you know, in the comics. And it's just like, whoa, well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Who wrote this comic, by the way? Who wrote that line? Let me check. I think it was Gallagher, right? Yeah, Gallagher was the one that wrote this. No, spoilies. (laughs) No, spoilies. No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah. Bunny. Bunny. Oh, man. She went down hard. (laughs) You traitor, Sonic. Is there any hope for us? Dude, you didn't call Uncle Chuck a traitor. He he was roboticized. I mean, granted, it probably seems like he intentionally did this. But, okay, logic. Let's think about this logically, right? Why the fuck would Sonic go and get roboticized of his own account without the, the neurosuppressor chip, right? Like, Sonic's... Sonic can be daft sometimes, but he's not an idiot. Like... <laughs> I feel like they should reason that he didn't do this on purpose. Sonic the Hedgehog is no more. Citizens of Nothole, prepare to be eliminated by Mecha Sonic. He's coming toward the village fast and furious. Your last and best hope. Really? I don't normally get involved. The Princess Sally Acorn and I go back a long way. Your great-great-grandfather didn't mention that to me, but I'm glad you're here. I don't know- I don't know what you're talking about, kid, but Knuckles the Echidna is ready to kick Mecha Booty. I'll explain later, if we all survive. Meanwhile, please step onto the launch platform. Yee-haw! Lift off! Give him a Sammy voice? I guess I could. Surprise, Sonic! Your fellow freedom fighters asked me to deliver this to you. Grrrrk! Org. You don't stand a chance against my robo-enhanced speed and strength. Yeah! Mon dieu! Mecha-Sonic is beating Knuckles to Pulp Fiction! Oh dear, the Echidna's our last line of defense. You guys still seem pretty okay. You could fight too. I mean, you wouldn't stand a chance, but like, you could fight. (laughs) The streamer you found is streaming the Hedgehog of Sonic the Murder. (laughs) What the fuck did you just say, Greg? (laughs) Just so you know, in case you want to voice voice. Yeah, I'll redirect you guys to him. I don't know. I don't mind if you guys have spoilers, so long as I don't get spoiled for it. So, like, I can send you guys to this person, um, and you guys can watch. I will just say hi, you know. (laughs) 
It's all over, Red. First, I trash not whole, then your floating island, and anything else Robotnik orders me to do. <laughs> no robot can whip me, see? <sighs> Oh, I see very well out of my high voltage optic unit. That's like whenever I say like, oh, I see because I have eyes. That's like that. But in robot speak. This is awful. Nux and Bunny are down and out. Mechasonic is poised to destroy not whole village. We're at his mercy. And that's something he has in. And that's something he has in very short supply. Not whole is doomed! Maybe not. There's one option left. Although I dread saying it. We've got an we've got to initiate Operation Last Resort. <gasps> Sally! You wouldn't you couldn't order us to do that, would you? What? Damn. Well we have to figure out what Operation Last Resort is tomorrow uh not tomorrow, because I'm doing the thing tomorrow. Um, uh, but next time. Do I say play on my Wii U? Do I still own a Wii U? What about Wii or anything else that predates the HD Nintendo consoles? Favorites? Uh, I still do own them. Uh, I don't have them here with... I have a Wii, but it's Sarah's old Wii. Uh, and my Wii U is back in Mexico. I still own it. Um, I didn't... You know, I never played much on the Wii U. Like, I liked it as a console, but I never played too many games on it. I mostly got it because of Sonic Boom, uh, Sonic Lost World. Well, actually, that's not true. I got it because of Sonic Lost World, because it was, like, the new Sonic game that was coming out. I'm like, well... I can't not have the latest Sonic game, so, like, I bought that. Um, I got, like, Pokemon Tournament on it. That was pretty fun. I, that's the thing with Pokemon, Pokemon Tournament, though, is that, like, I thought it was fun, but I didn't play it that often. But, yeah. Damn. Raid someone called Galab Galabun. Okay, let me check out Galabun and redirect you guys to Galabun. Um, if they are streaming The Hedgehog of Sonic the Murder, then I will... I will gracefully leave, <laughs> but oh my god! I there's there's a there's a metallic Gallade or Gardevoir in Pokemon Violet. I'm I'm seeing like Alpharad's new video thumbnail, and like it looks so much like Metal Sonic, like the eyes do. That's funny. Um, Galabun. Only the highest quality games to buy a console for Lost World and Boom. Well, I mean, there were other games that I played on it as well, but I haven't. Those were the ones that come to mind, I guess. Uh, I don't see Galabun. Let me look up the channel specific. Unless I typed it wrong. Yes, thank you, David. Oh, Galabun with one L. I spelled it with two L's. My bad. Galabun. There we, there we go. He did what he had to do. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. Okay. So let me put on these. I don't think I'm really going to be spoiled that much right now, but still. What about handhelds? I still have my, my 3DS. I still have my old DS too. Actually, I think my DS got... I had to buy a new Game Boy Advance because my parents' house got... Uh, broken into once, and they stole, like, my Game Boy. I think they stole, like, a DS. But, like, that was about it. That was all they took, <laughs> like, console-wise, which is weird. I don't know why. But, yeah. Okay. Right. So, go say hi on my behalf. I love you all. I will see you guys tomorrow for this game that I'm redirecting you to, and we will continue comics either on Wednesday or Thursday. Love you all. Be excellent to yourselves. Be excellent to each other. I love you. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>